Hi there, my name is uh, Michael Phillips and I am a computer technician and I'm here to help you out. Chances are if you've landed on this page you have some kind of computer DLL problem. The good news is, in my opinion at least, I think you've come to the right place. So as I said, my name is Michael and I've been fixing computers for several years. Um, so let me explain uh, two of the quickest ways to resolve most types of DLL errors fast. The first potential fix is to install the missing DLL file onto your computer since you're probably getting some type of error that the file is missing. So what you're going to do is we're going to go to our friend uh, Mr. Google, go to uh, google.com and use the search string download and then insert the name of the DLL file that you're missing. And by performing some some uh, some search, you should be able to find a site that has the the missing file. So download it and save that file onto your desktop, or save it in some kind of file folder where where you're going to remember it. The next step is you want to copy and paste that file that you just downloaded into your Windows file folder. Now generally the file path is um, C forward slash Windows forward slash System32. It's a System32 subfolder where all the DLL files are kept. So you want to ensure that whatever uh, file you downloaded it's placed in that System32 subfolder. Now once you do this, your DLL problem will likely be fixed. Now a little, um, a little uh, warning here is that this, this solution doesn't always work. And in those particular instances, you'll need to try the second fix, which I'll get to in a minute. Let me warn you though, um, this download method, it does pose some serious risk to you. The first point is that you're downloading a file from an untrusted source on the internet. And I personally know it's probably hundreds of people who have falsely installed um, what they thought was a DLL file onto their computer but instead ended up um, installing a virus or some kind of spyware uh, onto their computer system and in the end they had to hire a computer technician to get rid of it. So I urge you, please, and I, I can't stress that enough, please be careful with this method, okay? All right, you've been warned. That's my uh, personal service disclaimer for today. This brings me to my second quick fix and one that I personally recommend to all of my clients who have computer error problems. And this one is uh, far more safe than the first one. This method uses a little piece of trusted software that cleans out your Windows registry settings and what it does is it fixes DLL problems in a few short minutes. The software that I always recommend is called Registry Easy and this piece of software scans, it detects, it corrects registry errors on the spot and it makes your computer essentially like new again. The best part is you can now download a free copy of this software on my uh, website and you can get a scan, a free scan on your computer right now. All you need to do is just click one of the links below and follow three simple steps and within a few minutes your DLL error will be fixed. So I encourage you to try out the software, continue reading my blog for other tips and some quick fixes that can solve your computer problems. So thanks, uh, thanks for listening.